Hello again. This video I am going to talk about Matrix, which is not a new movie, but it is a really modern, sophisticated, secure way of communicating. There are already plenty of different solutions out there with which you can communicate in a very instant matter, like instant messaging. You have those uh, very popular apps like WhatsApp and Facebook and stuff, which I personally do not use at all. I do not have a Facebook account, nor have I installed WhatsApp whatsoever. I deeply do not trust Zuckerberg. I really dislike it, even though I would like to use some kind of social media uh, software to interact with my friends and my remote friends. Apart from the lack of trust, I do not like the concept of running software in a cloud fashion. People are being exploited by them using these kinds of softwares, giving away their personal information. When it comes to instant messaging for communications purposes on premise, if you like privacy like I do, and if you like to have control over your data and control over your services, like when they are not running, you can do something about it. But when uh, stuff like Facebook is down, it's just down and well, you're kind of doomed. I would like to show you what I have set up I have been running a matrix service on my own for quite some time now and I have been evaluating it and it's running really solid and I would like to give you a short introduction of what it is. Yeah, this is the website my service is running on. It's matrix.libcom.de. In order to use the service you need a client and there are plenty of different clients and uh, the more official one is the element client formerly known as Riot and I would like to show you how to set it up. All right the client is downloaded let's open it up just drag and drop as you know it from a Mac it's quite an easy task and then start it So there are different matrix services online. You can choose uh, which one you would like to use. Here is the list of public home servers you can join. And mine happen to be in the list as well. I am on a quite recent version of the matrix server. I update it regularly and I do not have any rules so far, but um, well, basically, behave like a regular person would and you can create an account with the client. Well, you can create an account like that, different home server, libcom.de. And then you can choose a username, set a password and please also give an email address so you can recover your password if you forgot it. But I'm not going to do that right now because I already have an account. I don't know how to Ah, yeah. I do not create an account right now, but I will just log in. And I already said that I am, I am going to be using the libcom.de domain. Login with username. And for that, I would need my password save. All right, my username is Jochen. And log in with my password. So there is this stuff for security. Matrix is using heavy encryption and in order to make sure that you cannot read messages even when you know the password of the account, if you uh, snit snitched it in some way, you need to verify new clients and you can do that with a secret passphrase which I suggest you set up when you start using the client uh, the first time. I could do that by just fetching it from my password safe, uh, but I, I will choose another way, which is verify myself by um, syncing it with a different account. I have a laptop on my side. On that, I also use the element client 
and I am now being asked if I would like to verify the session. And now I can start um, comparing those emojis. If I see the same emojis on my laptop, which I do, I can say they fit. And on the other device, I also say they fit. And now I actually have access to my full history of messages, even on this device. So there are se several different layers of encryption. And uh, please make sure that, w again, when you set up your client the first time, just define a, um, a recovery passphrase and store it securely. Otherwise, it might lead to losing your history or your, your chat history. Because if you have no other devices left, you can authenticate yourself with. And if you also do not have your, um, your recovery passphrase, you can use your account, but you will lose your, your history. Well, that's basically it. I have set up a nice logo for my <laughs> account. You, are f you can feel free to, to contact me and ask myself some questions about, uh, well, this stuff, but of course about other stuff like my, di my other videos. I have my own little room. Here it is, libcom.de. You will automatically join this channel when you create an account on my server and just feel free to text me. You can uh, explore rooms like uh, since it's federated, which means the matrix system is being run on different servers, like in this list I showed you earlier. Here are some home servers and I can, for example, try to see what channels are on, on, on this home server. I need to add a new server first. Let's choose this one. This is Federation. So my home server is now contacting the other home server and asking, show me what your channels are. And now I, I, and now I would be able to join the very own channels of this server. And you can, of course, still have some privacy, like, for example, if you would like to create a channel on on, on my home server or on any home server you're, you're using, you can still define this channel to be private. Like, uh, let's see, no, not new space, new room, test space, and here you can set it to, to private. So you have to invite people in order for them to be able to join it. And you can also say, for example, it's only possible for users to join the channel if they are actually if they actually have an account on this server. So you can set some different layers of, of privacy. Especially in, in, in corporations, you might want to have some channels. Uh, federated users should not be able to join. You can set this flag. On the default, the end-to-end -end encryption is activated on new channels, which I suggest you do, which makes sense in some way. In older versions of Matrix, this flag was not uh, set as a default because they needed to figure some things out, how to handle encryption, even in this higher level of security. Well, I am not creating the channel right now, but um, let's see what channels are there on my server. I don't know, there are not plenty. Um, I think there might be only like very little servers. Yeah, I have made an help desk channel and here is my Libcom channel. I invite you to use my server. Uh, it, is, it has been up and running for like, I don't know, like nine or 10 months now. If there's any downtime, you will get noticed. Apart from the desktop client, there are several different clients for iOS and for Android. The element client is available for both of them, but there is also a web-based client, which I also offer. You can just go to element.libcom.de and just use the web-based client in order to create uh, your account or to, to log in and chat. It's really working quite well, I have to say, and I'm really um, content about it because uh, I used to have some notification systems running for my monitoring system and all the notifications 
today I am sending via matrix. So uh, if there is any downtime or any irregularities on the services, I get notifications. There are lots of different methods to do that. I am using a prize, which is a toolbox. You can send notifications to lots of different destinations. Here are some like also ambience, funny, um, like Growl, Mailgun, Metamost, MQTT, also very interesting topic to be honest, notify. And here you can see it's there is also matrix in the list. So you can send notifications to very different services, also like Signal, uh, as far as I know. One Signal, let's see, Signal API, there it is. And WhatsApp, what about WhatsApp? Also possible. So a price is also a nice tool, but this is only a side note. All right, I hope you had fun with this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, just put them in the comment section below. I'm trying to answer as many as possible. And I'm looking forward to see you on my platform. So see you again. Bye bye.